So, I'm Richard Withers, and I'm here with Mark Tam Sula, and we're playing music from southwestern Pennsylvania. These are all tunes that have been in this area for many generations and uh, had all but died out, uh, but for the work of a fellow named Samuel Byard, who um, collected fiddle tunes and, as you heard, fife tunes and ballads from this region uh, starting in the 1920s and uh, on into the 60s. He uh, collected over a thousand fiddle tunes, fife tunes, ballads, and uh, Mark and I have been recording this music. Um, this is our fifth recording. We've just finished up. And uh, this one's featuring music from the uh, from Armstrong County, and I'll let Mark tell you more about that. Well, uh, the tune you started with uh, was a version of the Jaybird. It came from uh, Pfeiffer and Harry Elliott of Clarion. And our next tune is called Bummer's Reel. It comes from Curtis R. Cooper of Armstrong County. Uh, we're going to do it as a medley with a tune called The Flying Cloud Shawdish. And that was collected from Joseph Pardee of Indiana County, who was born in the 1880s. Sam Byard visited was from the Derry area. Uh, Sarah Armstrong was born in 1883 in Gray Station, just south of Blairsville. Her father, Charles Gray, and her uncles, Laney, Dan, Josh, and Abe, were well-known fiddlers in their day, and Sarah played along with them and acquired their repertoire of traditional tunes, uh, preserving them for the rest of us, because in 1943, Sam Byard visited her for a few months and made her the focus of his first published collection titled Hill Country Tunes. As far as we know, there were no audio recordings of Sarah and no living descendants who carried on playing her music. Uh, but now, thanks to Sam Byard's work, her tunes are played at sessions and dances around the country. 
Uh, right now we're going to play Sarah Armstrong's version of Patty on the Turnpike. Richard and I released our fifth recording of tunes that mostly come from Byers collections. Uh, the album's called Rural Valley Melodies and it can be purchased as a digital download from our website snappandbug.com. Our four earlier albums are available there as well. Rural Valley Melodies puts together tunes from fiddlers and fifers of Armstrong and surrounding counties. Uh, Walter Neal was an Armstrong County fiddler who Byers visited in the early 1950s. He played this version of Cluck Old Hen in the key of G. I'm going to use a little different banjo here. This is a tack head banjo and um, kind of sounds what you would might have heard in the uh, uh, earlier days of banjo. Gut strings, uh, gut head. It's tuned in the lower. Tuned in the lower, a little earthier sound here. Clap on hand, one, two, three. Thank you. 
Um, A.J. Hogg was a fiddler from Rural Valley, Armstrong County. He was a major contributor to Bayard's second book titled Dance to the Fiddle, March to the Fife, but his background info somehow is omitted from the index. Uh, thanks to the internet, we were able to find out some more about him. I got in touch with his great niece, Dorothy Hogmore, who provided some photos of A.J. and his father, John Hogg, who also played fiddle. Arthur Jesse Hogg was a high school principal in Rural Valley back in the 1930s and 40s, and his brother Calvin and him were both uh, known as local fiddlers. Uh, a 1921 article in the Butler Eagle described their double wedding ceremony, uh, and after that the, um, the honeymoon couples were treated to a ride to Slippery Rock in a farm wagon hitched to the back of a grocery truck. Uh, here's a medley of two of AJ's tunes. The first one is called Old Number Third, which he learned when he was a boy from his father, uh, who learned it when he was a boy around the time of the Civil War. Uh, we'll follow this tune with uh, AJ's version of the Mountain Hornpipe. Here's some tunes we're working on for our next recording, which is uh, called Neighbors in the Cloudland. Uh, Fiddler Sam Wash of Juniana County played this version of Indian Ada Woodchuck, and Pfeiffer Sam Wiltra out of Fayette County played a second tune called The Old Blackbird.
Well, thanks for watching our show. You can find more information about our music and the Samuel Byer collection at our website, www.snappandbug.com. Bye for now. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you in person someday.